Hello lovelies, Hadia from Hadia's Lebanese Cuisine here. Those popular cheese sambusik that hail from Lebanon and the Middle East are wonderful to eat out of the fryer. They feature a cheese filling encased in pastry and deep fried to flaky perfection. The incredible savory bites are crispy on the outside with a stretchy oozy cheese inside. For some reason, they have a reputation for being difficult. I have to admit, it takes time to make these little babies from scratch, but they're really so worth it. The process involves making a buttery dough from scratch and cook the cheese filling on the stove top. Classically, they're formed into a crescent shape like empanadas or a rectangle much like ravioli and pan fried to perfection. The crowd pleaser cheese sambusa can be made ahead of time too. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. Now, let's get started. We're going to be skipping the ready sorbet puff pastry and we will be making the dough from scratch. This could be the closest recipe to a puff pastry dough. It has taken overnight in the fridge, but way more easier with no folding technique. It's buttery and flaky with true layers of lamination. Learn it and use it in tons of recipes. I call it my secret weapon. Make the dough. Combine together the flour, beaten egg, white vinegar, sugar and salt. Add water as needed to create a stiff dough. Start with half a cup and add as needed to end up with an elastic dough of one texture. Keep the dough firm and stiff and please don't add a lot of water. Knead the dough until it's smooth and elastic, about 5 minutes. Wrap in plastic wrap and let it stand at room temperature for at least 20 minutes. This is an essential part of the process. Now the next step is combining the fat with the dough. The fat smooths and moistens the texture and tenderizes the gluten formation. Add the butter and continue kneading thoroughly until the butter is completely incorporated and the dough is smooth, shiny and elastic. Cover with cling film and refrigerate overnight. It can be refrigerated for up to three days. It's an ideal to use whenever a recipe calls for puff pastry, the easiest alternative to puff pastry. Now see you tomorrow. To make the filling, add the sunflower oil to a saucepan and warm it for a couple of seconds before adding the flour. Once the flour has been added, Mix it together with a whisk to form a paste and let it cook for 30 seconds. Add one cup of milk and whisk constantly to remove any lumps. Even if you still have lumps, no worries, they will dissolve totally with the cheese. Keep on stirring until the mix totally thickens up. Add the cheese and whisk constantly over medium heat. To melt the cheese and you can add also nigella seeds. Whisk well to integrate everything together.
Now remove the dough from the refrigerator after an overnight in the fridge and knock it back and remove from the bowl and divide it to two even portions. Now using a rolling pin, roll one dough at a time on a floured work surface to one fourth inch in thickness. Now the dough gets sticky, so make sure you have more flour nearby as you roll. Use a pizza cutter and score it to squares. Now the exact dimensions are not important, but the thickness is. You can make them small or big as you wish. Fill the dough. Fill the squares of dough by placing a tablespoon of the filling in the center of each square. Now make a flour slurry by combining flour and water in a small bowl to a moderate thick consistency. And brush the borders of each square. This is an extra step to bind the edges together with no leaking during frying. Fold two corners over the filling to make a mini rectangle. Now using a fork, crimp the edges of the sambusic together to seal. You want to make sure you have a tightly sealed turnovers to help prevent filling from leaking out while frying. Now these are now ready to freeze. Or you can add my cella seeds too to garnish the center of your sambusic. Brush the center of the sambusic with flour and water slurry and sprinkle with my jella seeds if desired. Heat oil to an adequate frying temperature. And when ready, slip a few sambusic and fry until golden about two to three minutes, but please don't crowd the frying pan. Then flip. When both sides are golden brown, move the sambusa to a plate or something lined with kitchen paper towels and continue with the rest. Or alternatively, you can form them into circles. Fill the circles of the dough by placing a tablespoon of the filling in the center of each circle. Frying and carefully fold the circle in half. Make a half moon shape. Press the edges firmly to seal, crimp the edges with the back of a fork, heat oil to an adequate frying temperature, when you're ready slip a few sambusic and fry until golden to 2-3 to three minutes and when both sides are golden move them to a plate lined with kitchen paper tablets and continue with the rest. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Give me a thumbs up and follow if you like our videos. There are so many coming soon. Thank you so much for watching.